Hello, popcorn junkies. We are in our little cubby hole yep. tonight because the family are watching something on television and we thought it would be nicer to do it in the movie room. Yes. You haven't been in here for ages. Not for ages. No. So we're here to review a film which has two titles. Ford versus Ferrari. Yep. And, which I didn't see it as, I saw it as Le Mans 66. Le Mans 66. 66 yeah. uh, Le Mans being um, a 24-hour Formula race. One type race. Yeah. yeah which, I, do they still run Le I, Mans? I, I was exactly thinking that. I don't think so. Is Le Mans still a thing? I'd have thought it's illegal on a health and safety yeah. ground, isn't it? 24 yeah. hours, although obviously they do. And Lewis Hamilton would have won it anyway. Precisely. And told us so I wonder whether they've called it Le Mans 66 for a British audience yes. because obviously we're closer to France and it would resonate for us. Oh. Um, and it's called Ford v Ferrari in America because, of course, the, the size and scope of Henry Ford's company is a, is a, it's like McDonald's, isn't it, yeah, in America? Um, and really, it's the story, it's a real, not rags to riches, but it's a sort of an American dream story, it isn't is, it? Yeah. About the individual Against versus them. the corporation absolutely. versus Italy. It's in Ferrari. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So a lot of patriotism in there, yeah. a lot of the underdog, a lot of all that, and starring Matt Damon and Christian Bale, uh, nobly supported by uh, Noah Jupe, who plays Christian Bale's son. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I have to confess, I wasn't at all excited about going to see this. I no. mean, even your sort of... I'd seen the trailer. I'd seen a couple of trailers. They they underwhelmed massively. Yeah. I'm an enormous Matt Damon fan. Yes, I am. I'm an enormous Christian Bale fan when yes. he hits the right, the right sort of spot. tempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we've just come off seeing Noah Jupe in uh, Honey Boy and he was absolutely was phenomenal and deserves an Oscar nomination yeah, for that yeah. alone. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, so how are you going into this? Well... Um, I'd seen the trailer. I'm a huge Matt Damon fan and Christian Bale. I just mm. was fascinated by it. I just like the look of it. Right. I like racing. Do like, you? Yeah, I do. Tell me about that. Done in a certain way. Motor car. This was well. It's it's also, and this is what it turns out to be. Clearly, the story of an amazing friendship. Well, it is the story of it's a buddy movie, it's isn't it? It's a buddy it? movie. So it's a buddy and movie. A, and the bit in the trailer where they're punching each other, it's yes. clearly a buddy movie. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's the kind of cut and thrust of a very male. Yeah. Buddy movie. I mean, I say obviously buddy is men, but I mean, you know, you can get buddy movies like I'm thinking of even like End of Watch, yeah. where there's a really, there's quite a sharp emotional fleck to it. Yeah. And whilst there's definitely an emotional contingent to their relationship, mm -hmm. I think partly because Christian Bale plays his character so... Down. Well, down. not even down. He's clearly on the spectrum in some way. Yeah. He doesn't quite understand social niceties. No. He's not quite plugged into the requirements of a social situation. Um, and so consequently that kind of, that, that pulled him back but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a bit yeah. it's directed by James Mangold um, and James Mangold is most notable for me in a sense for Walk the Line which was the film he did with um, Joachim Phoenix I've I think Yo 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 Joachim Phoenix got nominated for an Oscar for his portrayal of Johnny Cash but didn't yeah. this guy do Logan and he did Logan too I was, which... I was one of the very few people in the world that went to see Logan and you liked it didn't I, you I did it came in at about three hours it was epic it was huge. I it never had the time. On on, I never no. had the time to go and see it, which is why I didn't see it. But I heard things like Logan was the first film to kind of do what Joker then went on to do, which yes. was kind of really psychoanalyze a, a superhero. Oh, and, yeah. And, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that's intriguing. Bizarrely, it's co-written by Jez Butterworth. I saw that of Jerusalem and fame. Then... Now, with a title like Ford v Ferrari mm. and a title like Le Mans sixty six, I would suggest that this is clearly targeting uh, not solely so i'm not being sexist here but one can assume that more men like football than women just just a mm -hmm. fact um that this is quite clearly directed at a, a male audience so i'm surprised that you were wanting to go and see it yeah i like driving i've all, I, I like driving when i drove yeah. and i like um not just going round and round a track but i knew that this would be more than that yes and um and i like the period that it's set in and um and I like those two actors very yeah. much. I like the fact that Christian Bale was playing a Brummy because it's based on a real story, well, isn't it? Yeah, what well, and, and Brummy, <laughs> Brummy's a the accent is so difficult to do. I, I, the okay. family, whole family were from Birmingham. Yeah, the so whole family. What? What? The, whilst that in itself could have been a really clever move. Mm. It really it created problems for me. I tell you why. I don't know whether it was because. We're so used to seeing Christian Bale perform such brilliantly American parts. Oh, I get that. Yeah, it did so me it in the beginning. So it felt like watching an American actor not quite perfecting yeah. a British Brummie accent. Yeah. So that was one contingent problem yeah. I had with it. No, I would agree with that. I thought one beginning. of the weakest parts of the film was his wife. 
Yes. And I thought the syrupiness between him and his wife was just dire. I find it intolerable oh, to watch. Oh, did you? I mean, so intolerable. It felt... What about you know, the scene where she fights back for a second? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, no. But I mean, I just found it, I found it obvious. I found yeah. it simplistic and I found it really sort of A, B, C, dum. Yeah. Um, and I even felt that Noah Duke was let down. He didn't have much to do, but no, he, he didn't, didn't have much really. to say. And he just had to keep looking sort of adoringly at his dad, his dad and, and impressed with everything. So there was no complexity to the family set. I can see why they needed it. Mm -hmm. And it was very much, don't get me wrong, that's very much subservient to the rest of the film. Yeah. It's not a priority. Yeah. But the context in his family, I found it grated and I found it really obvious. I was really thrown into quite a strange place by this film. I was thrown into a place of thinking a lot about a father mm. and not having a father. Oh, blimey. And, and the way in which having a father puts you in contact with very male things like yeah. football, yeah. motor racing, yeah. cars, yeah. putting together an engine, thinking that the structure of an engine's interest. This is stuff that men talk about and I always mm. sit outside of. Mm, mm, mm. And so as I watched this, I felt that strange feeling I fulfil at the beginning of a male conversation, which is I'm kind of outside of this conversation because I, I don't have any skin in the game. Mm -hmm. And then I felt a real longing. Yeah, I felt a real longing to indulge in it okay. and be part of it. So <laughs> it's a really odd part of a review to do, but I do think films are all about how they affect the person. Yeah, yeah. And so for me, I found myself, it was a little bit like, so watching this film was a little bit an analogous to getting my scale X tricks out of the loft dusting it off, setting it up, not really being into it too much, but really wanting to give myself just two hours of traveling yeah. back to childhood dreams and thoughts. And a lot of this I realized uh, that, that, that's, what that's what his character says. did for me. Yeah. And that's what this film did for me in a weird yeah. way. So you had that reaction, did mm. you think? I, my reaction was much more, because that's where I was brought up. It's yeah. where Mark was born and blah, 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 blah. Um, so all of that makes sense in terms yeah. of his putative father, but the um, but all the phrases, like he said, all round the reek. And how oh, often right. have you yeah, said yeah, we yeah. say that? Yeah. I mean, it was very, very accurate. Yes. Although one can say, well, it needn't have been for yeah. I mean, I had an investment in that. Yeah. And it also explains. So why did it feel quite a... homely in that yes. sense? Yes. Because it felt it felt because that wasn't my home. No. But I knew it was part of who I was when I came into the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. So it strangely felt homely. And I think the problem I had with Christian Bale altogether mm -hmm. was really not how good his accent was or wasn't. I think it was absolutely serviceable and fine and yeah. good and, and, and he is English at the end of the day. It was the shock of seeing, hearing it coming out of him. Yeah, I mean, I, I know exactly what you mean. And to begin with, mine, mine was shock, uh, although I was prepared for it because of the trailer. Uh, but it very, very quickly evaporated. Right. Did the story snag you right from the get-go? It did a bit because because of the business. I mean, I used to love driving when I drove more, mm. but knew nothing about the, te the actual technicalities of it, mm. as you said. But I love the idea of a big corporation against a small corporation mm. and the idea of... Ford yes. fighting uh, the bigger, the bigger yes. Italian sort of, um, and they played it very much like a pantomime in the sense yeah. that you know the evil Italian John Bernthal, who me and Maddie know very well from The Walking Dead. I thought oh, he was okay. very good actually. I thought Tracy Letts was fantastic. Tracy Letts, yeah, yeah. Tracy Didn't Letts you think was the brilliant. Scene where it Matt Damon took him off in the car. Yes. I thought that was fabulous. Yes. With no no sort of build up, nothing round it. Yeah. And and because he's a director as well as a writer, Tracy Letts, mm. I think he just said, "Let me go in my own time." Yeah. And it was perfect. Yeah. And I really believed. I really believed the uh, characterization of Ford, the company. I did. I really believed. And you know, having worked for corporations, I really believed the second in command, who was that really annoying yeah, guy who wanted who hated, to obstruct everything, yeah, hated yeah, yeah. Matt Damon, and. He did I think that anybody was as good at promoting it absolutely as he was. and then i thought it, i thought john bernthal was really good at playing that wanting to get it right but really trusting actually his instinct was right to go with shelby the character yeah. played by matt damon yeah um and yeah so i i liked all of that and i did really like the i i really bought into and i thought it did very well the idea and it did a very tricky job actually it's an american film where it didn't tarnish the ford's reputation no. but it still managed to say that the individual needs to strike out against the company yeah and i was sort of thinking well how are they going to tie all this up at the end yeah. even though it's based on a true story and it all yeah. happened and real yeah. these are all real characters by the yeah. way um, I thought it, it, it did a, I mean, I don't know whether Ford were involved with this, but it did a good job of keeping all parties happy while yeah. suggesting there was drama, which is quite a tricky, yeah. tricky thing to do for a exactly. director. You've got to keep corporations happy and you've got to keep, yeah, and I yeah. thought the story of the individual was good. And then 
you're right, there was that jeopardy and stress and tug. So to explain, we have totally ignored Matt Damon's character, which is uh, Shelby. Mm -hmm. And what did you think of Matt Damon? I thought he was great. I thought he was slightly different to normal in that he's always like, unless I'm totally wrong, he always plays everything as in, in a good mood. I felt he wasn't so much in a good mood in this film. He was more sort of like uh, tough. I mean, the whole sort of thing hinges on the fact that he's almost the only one that understands how technical the Christian Bale character is mm. and can and and has an absolute affinity with the technicalities of mm. the car. Knows about weight, knows about revs, mm. revs partic being particularly 7, important. 7,000 being the yeah, key Yeah, the absolute key. And moment. That's, and that's the moment when, you know, there's there's that moment in all sporting yes. things, isn't there? Yeah. Surfing, whatever, yeah. whatever. They did it in a way which kept me interested i mean even down to things i know it was in the trailer but that bit where they were he was putting things they were putting things on the car to get the drag mm. and it made all the difference you know mm. and then and i found myself totally invested in things like when he's driving around that one time and the door won't close and that was a very like, very oh my God. yeah oh well i'm pleased you reminded me of that i thought that was an incredibly dramatic scene so so essentially this is the story of, of shelby played by damon convincing christian bale's character to drive for him in order to make ford be as successful if not more successful than Ferrari. So it becomes the Ford v Ferrari. Ferrari are known for being Formula One ra racers. And the, I like the rationale and the reason that John Bernthal decides that this is the way to go, i.e. Ford should try and beat Ferrari, yeah. is basically to in, in, ingratiate your generation. Yes. It's basically, they like sex, yes. they like drugs, yes. they need cars and they need to think that we're winners. Yes. They need to put sex in there because Ferrari's got a sexy sort of thing. Yeah. And I like that if that's true. I thought that was kind of an intriguing just bit of social history. You know, and, and then really the film is the process of Matt Damon and Christian Bale, their tug of war with, with Matt Damon being uncomfortable with the corporate side that he yeah. has to manage yeah. uh, and Christian Bale being totally you know, anti all of that stuff. Yeah. But Christian Bale being this absolute live wire and sort of liability, yeah. hurling spanners around, smashing shit up, punching him in the face and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But being a sort of mad genius. A mad genius, but also in terms of, this is what I mean about Matt Damon's character. Although Christian Bale was very sort of bad tempered and, mm. and fought, you know, literally physically Matt mm. Damon, that's because they were friends and knew each other. He was quite sort of low key in terms of fighting the corporation. Mm. And that was left to Matt Damon. And in fact, as the film went on, he more and more stepped back from that and trusted yeah. Shelby. Well, I'm, I'm kind of holding back purposely. I mean, I personally thought Matt Damon I thought it was an absolutely magnificent performance. I, did, well, I mean, I, I thought it magnificent insofar as it was so subtle. Yes, yeah, subtle. And it was so sophisticated and it was oh, so wow. real. Please, yeah. And I thought he, you know, whilst I liked Christian Bale, he was far more one note and, and an archetype yeah. of a mad genius. Yeah, yeah. And I thought Matt Damon did, it's like I came out and I said to, I even said to Nadia on the phone afterwards, I said, he's effortless. Yes. Absolutely effortless. Yeah. And I'm used to thinking Christian Bale's effortless. And so I went into this thinking I was going to get much more oh, that's sort of acting satisfaction from Christian Bale, whereas I actually thought of all the films I've seen Matt Damon do, I think, you know, there was talk a while back about this having Oscar nominations and stuff like that. Um, I, I think really? he, I think he merits one. I think he deserves one. I think he played it really, really well because even the point at which he hits those emotions towards the end, yeah, which is incredibly, it, you know, well yeah, done. and it, and incredibly hard for that character to hit emotions because these are Formula One guys. Yeah, they're not. Of course, they're going to have the sporting emotion, but they're not yeah. going to feel that tender emotion. I thought he did a really good job of struggling to articulate it. Yeah, that last scene with No Dupe. Oh, don't. I yeah, mean, in I the was street. In... And I, but I thought the way he couldn't articulate it, but did articulate yeah. it, was very powerful. Yeah. No, I mean, when I'm when I'm saying about his his character Ristic in mm. this film, which is uh, he's playing against type. Yeah. I thought, yeah. and I agree. I thought it was incredibly subtle. I mean, I thought he was doing an incredible. I, I, unlike you, don't ever wholly by Christian Bale. I like him yeah, and yeah. I always want to go and see his films. He's a bit pantomime -y. But he's a bit, yeah. yeah. He, he's not, I don't find him subtle. No, subtle's no, the no, last no. Word I'd ever well, use. no, maybe subtle isn't the right word, yeah. but I suppose he's always such a strong presence yeah. in the film that whatever he's doing tends to outshine everything else. Yeah. Couldn't you like, oh yeah, Christian Bale's yeah, kind of intriguing, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, and but whereas Matt's... I thought Matt Damon was absolute, and I, I, I did. I thought he I was felt brilliant. safe with him. I thought all the things that he was trying to exude, which is in a sense, he was like the manager of a team, wasn't he? Yeah. Don't let him do that. Do let him yeah. do that. Balancing it, I need to make this judgment yeah. here. This is this is going to be high risk. He puts Henry Ford in the car with him. Yeah. And it, oh, that's in the trailer. But I thought again, within the context of the film, I thought it was an incredibly powerful scene. Yeah. And you're right. I think Tracy Letts, when he then thinks about his own, the original Henry Ford. Yeah. 
and what his father would have thought of this experience. Because that, that could have gone very... one of two ways, yeah. but I think because there's so many writers actually were involved yeah, in that Yeah, maybe. It, it, it held on and held on to the emotion yeah. and then really moved you. Yeah, the scene with the car door. I mean, I, I was literally banging my chairs, going, for fuck's sake, someone help and him. And me, and me, yeah, yeah. So he does a lap, isn't yeah. it? Is it a, or maybe more than a maybe lap. Maybe more than a lap, yeah. With, with the door. Doors unable flapping to, open. Yeah, and he's still going at 600 yeah, yeah, million yeah, miles an hour, right. going round things. And clearly you see the whole sort of essence of the film and why um, Matt Damon is so on, you know, uh, vocal yeah. with Ford is that... Um, Matt Damon knows that the only person that can do it, if it can be done at all, yeah. because of this almost, and this is where some people won't like this, but I quite like it because it's often in horse racing. But right. when you say, why do I like racing? It's because I like horse racing. Right, I see. And that okay. idea of reaching a certain speed and yeah, then you yeah, suddenly yeah. go into a mythical yeah. thing. Yeah. I was thinking, why does that appeal to me so much? And some people would find that very cheesy, but I like that. Yeah. And I like the fact that Matt Damon himself had done it, but then couldn't do it for whatever reasons. Mm. And so he was he was the manager who's running the show, but Christian Bell still could do that. Mm. Whenever you get any film that focuses on any sport, um, you know, the danger is, for example, even in a documentary like the Diego Maradona, I felt there was a bit too much football in it. And in, and with most films that have a lot of driving in it, even mm. cars, thrillers that have car chases, I really tire very quickly. Mm. I thought it managed all of the driving scenes really well. Yeah, I did. Because it kind of did a very clever thing where it, it made you invested in many of the test runs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that when you came to race day, you got a real... And also, it gave you some of the... Not the science, but it... I tell you what it did for me. It it, it made me realise how creative it is. Yeah. It, you know, cre there's creativity in the engineering of the car, Absolutely. obviously. Absolutely. But then there's real creativity, that lovely scene where he talks Noah Jupe around the course. Yes. And it's poetry. Yes. You take it here, you let go here, yes. you push down on the things. I mean, it, the danger was I was going to get into my car when I got out, boring old Nissan, and yeah. start trying to do all sorts of weird shit. Yeah. And I thought that was very successfully done without being patronising to an audience that doesn't know it and I would hope that for anyone who's an expert in all this stuff sort of sexy enough to deliver yeah, the yeah. only part of the whole thing that just didn't work for me was the whole family thing I just found it really added on and it was almost like as a director it needed a lighter hand a lighter touch I mean they had to give him well yeah. I mean I suppose because he did have a wife and child yeah. but also they had to make him he would have been far more unhinged and like when they call him a beatnik and he's sort of obviously doesn't yeah. really give a shit what a, give a yeah. sod what people think if he hadn't had a wife and child then it that that wouldn't have been yes. quite so on the edge yeah it was the thing that needed to anchor him in, yeah. in the real world and I guess the real character that he was playing Ken Miles it, it had to do that for him too and what I like that whole American and dream thing I thought it was a good film for showing how you oh, can't yes. you can't achieve success and this is a big thing for the television industry and for the movie business you can't make the greatest films and the greatest television by committee I think it's just you can't I personally can't hear that message message said too much no because it's enough, it's yeah. it's a symptom unfortunately of too much these days yeah everything's made by committee yeah okay well shall we sum up and sum up and yeah. score I'd like did to you try and... in it I did at the end because I you? thought it was so beautifully played with it Matt was. Damon and also he was talking about the death of death of a friend. Yeah. What am I going to do except not bore my head off? Yeah. But he was so well done, even although she... And I thought, know, well, we should talk about I mean, I thought the death was dealt with very undramatically. I know. It? I mean, I had this sinking feeling as he was going around yeah. the track that that was going to happen because yeah. why would they be showing us that? Yeah. But then clearly it did happen in real life, so that mm. was sort of a bit of a tragedy. It a tragedy. was. But but no, what it did this film was when I saw Jez Butter Butterworth Butterworth, am I yeah, saying that's it, that right? Yeah, yeah. I was I thought maybe this will raise the level of it just being I a straight too. racing yeah. film, and it did. Mm. Except as you say for the wife, but I did that didn't bother no, me as no, much no. as you. They were just added. Oh, on yeah, it's not a reason extra. not to see it. It's no, just a no. Minor I liked all the stuff with the cars, but then I I I think I can take far more car. I mean, I like car chases mm. in movies, which when probably you don't. No, but I, I don't. can take quite a lot of cars. Um, and Did they had enough in each in the scenes, like say with the bits of paper on the car, say with the door, yeah. say with. I thought the scenes actually on the track, when you're in the car. Yeah. I mean, 
I felt in those a bit like I feel in war films. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. you're in the plane, where I'm actually there. Because yeah. they do it so well. They do do it very well, actually. Yeah, and yeah. they're coming Especially right. Especially when they were looking at each other. It's very hard to achieve that. And, I, you know, again, I wasn't... What I, not, what I liked was I wasn't sat there as a film-making, loving, fascin, you know, film bod going, mm. how did they get that? How did they get that? No. I was just taken up with it. It was so convincing. I love Matt Damon. I love Christian Bale for different reasons. Yeah. Um, I thought I would agree entirely that it was one of the subtlest performances of Matt Damon, who's all always good mm, he's always, always good. good but he's often cheerful, Just cheerful, right. cheerful yeah and he wasn't in this there was far more yeah i think he gave of... it a lot he in, did. in not giving it a lot he did <laughs> he did yeah so altogether i really liked it a lot and i would give it a 8.2 wow okay 8.2 interesting uh, just sort of film uh, trivia the original actors cast to play the two parts were tom cruise and brad pitt no. Yeah, so it would have been very much a sort of Top Gun thing. And I have to confess, I thought I was going in to see something that might be a bit Top Gun-esque. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or anything with fast cars and engines and all that kind of stuff and those shots, I tend to sort of go, oh, God, this is yeah. so not going to be my cup of tea. Uh, this is one of those classic films that I went in really not going to like it. If you look at our vlog ever, you'll see me going into this going, I can't stand Formula One, may as well stand on a motorway. This isn't about Formula One, and it is about Formula One. It's about it's about as you rightly say, it's about it's about two men. It's a buddy movie. It's also about the small person overcoming the big, you know, the big corporation. It's about not making stuff by committee. It made me realise the creativity again. I like being told or reminded that you know categories of things in life, like say Formula One racing, that I just dismiss. There's a whole wealth of expertise and creativity yeah. and sophistication and complexity. And I thought this did a really good job of sort of reminding me of that and making me sort of go, don't, don't just dismiss anything really. And like, yeah. there's something of interest. I found it an adrenaline fueled watch. I did. I cared. I was on the edge of my seat. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't need to be out in space, Avengers style, to be on the edge of my seat. I cared about him winning. I wanted him to win. What did you think about the ending? In Where they all pulled the together three, as a threat. Yeah. I didn't want him to pull back. No. I wanted him to go ahead. I thought they I, did it quite well. They though, did do it very well. His, um... Yeah, he'd achieved his thing, but I still don't quite understand why he didn't win, which was frustrating. No, I, don't, I, don't I, I didn't actually. No, I let it go. <laughs> uh, I quite like the sort of you know the, the sort of hostility. It was quite nice to have a bit of competition between America and Italy, and yeah. a, you know, a bit of a gripe going on there. Um, so I was just pleasantly surprised by the whole thing, and I found it totally engaging. It's it's kind of what I expect Hollywood cinema to do. Yeah. You go to the cinema to see a film, you don't know too much about it, and it yeah. come out and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was good. So I would fully recommend it as a Saturday night. It doesn't feel overtly male, though I think you might struggle with some of the women I know to watch it all. Mm -hmm. I think it helps if you have a, an interest or are a driver, mm -hmm. because there is a real sense of how he's controlling yeah. the car all the time. Yeah, yeah. But I was, yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised. So I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Oh, so more or less the same. Yeah, more or yeah. less the same, yeah. Oh, okay. For Matt Damon, I think it was a really, 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 really career, uh, successful career-defining role performance yeah. by him. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.